Okay, so what I'm doing now, oh, I put the shower door back on, finished painting the bathroom. Check this out. This is, well, I got to put on that, that strip stuff around the, around the, um, the seal there, the, the join seal, but bathroom looks great now, or well, the shower looks great, I think. So the hanger here is, I'm routing, this is the line for the, uh, the control for the diesel heater. I had to go and get some extra, um, it's just alarm wire. It's got four wires in it. I'm going to use three of the four. I've got the bed torn apart because, and it's sitting up front there, taking up all of the room. <laughs> But, uh, I've got the bed torn apart so that I can run the fuel line for the diesel tank. And you can see the corner of it. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see the corner of the tank right there. I had to cut into the cabin just a little bit to get it to fit. And you can see the green fuel line goes up around the back and I'm going to bring it up next to the water tank here and uh, actually I'm going to run it I'm going to run it with all the rest of the wiring stuff around the outside of the fuel tank I'm going to zip tie it or the outside of the water tank and I'm just going to zip tie it to into place there and then I've got to go underneath where I've got the heater vent mounted there I gotta go underneath and that goes underneath the shower and then underneath the bathroom sink and so here's I got about 25 or no, I got 20 extra feet of fuel line I think that's probably more than enough but I've already got the tank mounted in here it worked out all right in the bottom of the tank I've already got the line wired up or the line ran and it's looking pretty all right this is the the space where the 10 gallon propane tank was mounted so I just took it out and there's all the just extra remnants and crap from the work that I've done under here but yeah so I've got that mounted under there and got this mounted in here should turn out all right so this is gonna be nice too cuz I'm gonna reseal this whole area from the inside with some fiberglass so that I don't get any diesel smell on the inside and then I'm gonna make sure that this thing's sealed up really well all the creases and cracks and stuff because I don't want to smell diesel diesel smells horrible so I'm gonna pause this and 